right, it's Roger with iGadget Geek, and today I have some case reviews for the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S. They are some aluminum bumper style cases. Now these are brought to you by X True Case. They were nice enough to send me about five of these out to review. They sent me three of the Dual Series and two of the Slider Series. So let's start with the Dual Series. We'll go ahead and take a look here at the packaging. Let's go ahead and get it out of the packaging and I'll show you what all comes with the case. Now this is kind of a matte finish charcoal color, but then you also get within the packaging, they were nice enough to include a couple screen shields. Since this is a bumper style, your front and rear glass is exposed, so they include these two anti-glare screen shields, one for the front and one for the back. Okay, so now we've got all the cases out. Let's take a look at some of the major differences between the slider series here. I have a green and silver, and here is an orange and gunmetal charcoal color for the Duo. Now, as you can see, side by side, they are very similar, but the slider has more of a smooth exterior finish where the Duo series does have a bit more of a, a bump in the center, kind of a raised section, so the styling is a bit different but they do both function the same and they both are excellent aluminum bumpers. Now at the bottom is the biggest noticeable difference as you can see the right has a single opening for the dual series and the left slider series has three separate openings. Now on the very top the dual has an integrated button on the left and on the right you can see the slider does not have the integrated button. Now I've already pre-installed one of these onto my iPhone 4S, so let's go ahead and take a look around at this case. So this is the Duo series for the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S in the pearl white finish. So on camera it doesn't really do the finish justice. It is a very nice hard finish and I've used it for a couple of days and it has a very nice pearl white finish to it that I don't think will quite show up on camera but let's go ahead and take a look around at the case itself so we can see here at the bottom you have one nice large cutout since it is the duo series for your 30 pin dock connector your speaker and microphone now on the left hand side you have your little rubber insert that does have embossed with the X True logo now it's hard to see because this particular one is kind of a translucent white so it won't really show up on camera but you have a nice cutout for your volume up and down and your silent switch and the way this is shaped you can get your fingers in there with no problem now on the very top you have one nice long cutout for your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack secondary mic and that integrated on off button that is very responsive you can actually still feel the click now on the side where the SIM goes, there are three separate openings in the center. You are able to access your SIM card. Now you also have a place for a lanyard. Now I have a Spectra wrap from Lucky Labs on my phone and on the back I have the carbon fiber wrap from Lucky Labs and on the front I have the iVisor anti-glare screen shield. So with those on it still fits very nicely into the phone. Well, let's go ahead and set that to the side and we'll install another one here on my iPhone 4. Now my iPhone 4 has anti-glare on front and back. So let's go ahead and install this matte finish charcoal case onto my iPhone 4. So that's nice. You don't have any screws to deal with before you install this case. The bottom actually attaches with a little locking system. There's two little tabs and I'll show you a little bit later in the video we'll get a close-up of that so you slide that back retention ring off and you're left with the front aluminum ring and the retention ring now as you can see on the side here you have that rubber insert with the extra logo now let's take a look around at the inside you have um, some rubber padding placed all around this case to isolate the aluminum bumper from your iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S so it will give you some protection as you can see with the integrated button there is also a pad and in all four corners so let's start here with the button side first and you want to set that into the case and line up those into the opening and then you want to just take your time and kind of a uh, little bit of pressure and the phone will slide right into the case. And you can feel it kind of slide into those rubber feet. And once you've done that, it's seated into the case and you can set it down. 
and take the rear retention piece and slide it into place. Now, the way this is designed with the tolerances being so nice and exact, there's actually some room between the glass and that retention ring so that it will not scratch the back glass. So you want to slide that the rest of the way until it clicks. Now, As you can see here, it will lock into place with those little tabs. Now I'm going to try to catch this on camera, see if I can maybe reposition this a little bit to show you those little teeth. Now as you can see right there are the teeth that lock into the little slots. So once you do that, it kind of snaps together and it is not going to come apart. Your phone is locked in the aluminum bumper and that retention ring is not going to go anywhere. Now here's that nice gunmetal kind of charcoal finish. It has a nice soft touch feel. It's kind of like what Apple does on a lot of their products. It's not a glossy finish. It is kind of a matte finish and it is a very nice finish. I've been very pleased with it. And with that integrated button, you get a lot of response to your on and off with no problems whatsoever. And you have a nice opening there again for your volume up and down. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of the slider series for my iPhone 4. They sent me silver and this lime green. This is one of the anodized finish and it's more of a glossy finish. So let's go ahead and install this anodized green onto my other iPhone 4. So we'll set some of these to the side and we'll go ahead and get started. You'll want to remove the retention ring from the slider series. Now as you can see it also has a lot of the rubber placed at all four corners to prevent any contact between the aluminum bumper and the iPhone 4. Now as you can see the side is the major difference. It is a smooth side whereas the Duo kind of has a raised center similar to the iPhone 4. So let's go ahead and install this iPhone 4 into the slider series. So we want to do button side first, slide it into place. Now once you've done that, you can install the retention ring. Now this particular iPhone does not have any screen shield on the back. It is completely naked and you can slide that retention ring on there without any worries of scratching your iPhone 4. You just take your time, it slides in and locks, and then your phone is locked within that aluminum bumper. Now as you can see on the front, I have a crystal clean screen shield, and there again, nothing on the back. Now the big difference between the slider and the Duo, let's take a look around. The slider has no integrated button, but you have a nice cutout for your on-off switch for your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and that hole is large enough and it actually incorporates the secondary mic. Now on the other side, you have a nice cutout for your silent switch, your volume up and down, and that again, that X True logo rubber insert that has a nice little bit of grip to it when you hold the phone, gives you a place to give a little extra grip. Now on the bottom, you have three separate cutouts, one for your 30 pin dock connector, speaker and microphone. And this dock connector is large and I have not noticed any issues using any secondary 30 pin dock connectors. On the other side you have a nice cutout for your SIM access and there again a place to attach a lanyard. So that gives you really kind of an overall idea of the differences and the fit and function of the slider and the dual slider from x Case. These are some of the nicest aluminum bumpers that I have reviewed in quite some time. So I will have a link in the description to my website with all the information about these cases as well as a 20% discount code. If you order one of the cases from their website and use my 20% discount code, you can get 20% off. The discount code is iGadgetGeek. So these are great cases to buy and use, but one of the really nice features about these cases is the back retention ring. They're going to incorporate several different accessory ideas with this back retention ring. Now they're going to do some different things as far as what they can do with this retention ring and they're going to send me out some of those samples as they build them. They're going to do like a kickstand is one of their ideas and several other ideas. So these cases are really focused on future expansion of the accessory line and 
allow you to have a lot of different accessories that work with these cases. Now one of the things that I really like about these cases is if you have several different colors you can slide like here the pearl white let's slide this retention ring off then we'll take the attention ring from the orange and we'll go ahead and slide it on here to the pearl white so then you can kind of get a nice color combo going if you order a couple of these cases. So as you can see here you have the pearl white with the orange I have used this case for a couple of days with no ill effects to my GPS, my Wi-Fi, or my cell phone strength. Now, this case is going to be great for someone who's wanting a nice aluminum bumper that's not actually going to add much bulk, but maintain that sleek, slim look that Apple originally intended for the iPhone 4. These cases are going to you know, do that without adding much bulk. Now I'm going to be having a giveaway for three of these cases. You'll be able to win one of these three cases. I will be giving away two of the slider series, one in matte silver, one in that lime green, and one of the duo series cases in the bright orange. Now to enter to this giveaway, there'll be three things you'll need to do. First, you'll need to follow my Twitter account. Second, you'll need to subscribe to me on YouTube. Third, go to my website. There will be a link in the description to the post on my website about this video review. Once you've gone there, leave me a comment and tell me what color you would like. Now I will post the winner to these cases on March 2nd on my website and through Twitter. So this has been my review of the X-True case, aluminum bumper case, for the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, and this has been Roger with iGadgetGeek.